North Korea is a land of many secrets, run by a paranoid government which constantly seeks to keep its citizens in perpetual silence. With the media space of the country heavily monitored, the trials and tribulations of the average North Korean rarely makes international news. However, some journalists risk life and limb to venture into this restricted land, and they come bearing images that tell the story of a people beaten into submission. Join us as we explore 25 photos North Korea doesn't want you to see. Number 25. Decaying Infrastructure For a nation rich in various natural resources such as gold, magnesite, graphite, and lead, North Korea falls short in infrastructural development. On the outside, the government pushes the narrative of a prosperous and developed nation. But when you take a closer look, the true state of the nation begins to come to light. Beyond the facade of skyscrapers, architectural masterpieces, and state-of-the-art infrastructure propagated by state-controlled media, North Korea's infrastructure is experiencing a sharp decline. Many buildings have fallen to disrepair, roads are filled with potholes, and railway systems are dilapidated. This stark reality falls short of the perfect image painted by the government of North Korea, who prefer to invest in projects that make the country look good to outsiders especially the rivals from the West, instead of focusing on infrastructure that will better the lives of the citizens. Number 24. North Korea's Healthcare System Healthcare remains one of the most basic human rights, and many developed countries invest a large portion of their yearly budget in the development of their healthcare system in order to be able to adequately cater for the needs of their citizens. However, in North Korea, the well-being of the people is but an afterthought. Although those in the upper echelons enjoy a more robust healthcare system, the same cannot be said of the ordinary citizens. According to Amnesty International, the once well-respected health infrastructure of North Korea is crumbling and in dire need of help. But Kim Jong-un doesn't want the world to know this. State-controlled media propagates images of well-equipped hospitals and trained doctors caring for patients. In reality, most healthcare facilities are in a state of disrepair and inadequate to care for the 25 million people who call North Korea home. Number 23. Harsh Reality of Child Labor Recently, the North Korean state media published images of a ceremony for children who volunteered to lab our in mines and farms owned by the state. This facade is a thin cover, masking the harsh reality of child lab hour and modern slavery, which is a common occurrence in North Korea. Young children are deprived of their childhood naivety and innocence, forced into manual lab hour under the cover of voluntarism. According to reports, child lab hour has been incorporated into the educational system of North Korea, and children are sometimes forced to abandon their classrooms for mines, farms, or so-called special projects. This results in both physical and psychological deficiencies, as many of these young children face the worst of conditions at the lab hour camps. Mandatory farm lab hour, construction works, and intense hours of unpaid lab hour is a common feature in the childhood experience of kids growing up in North Korea. Although the media would have you believe that children in North Korea are happy, well-fed, and receive proper education, reality paints a different picture. The children of the elite are, however, sometimes exempted from mandatory lab hour, a testament to the level of classism that is a common feature in North Korea. Number 22. Unsteady electricity supply. In North Korea, access to infrastructure such as electricity, which is a basic human right in most developed countries, is a luxury in the hermit kingdom. Although the major districts and industrial buildings of Pyongyang receive a constant supply of electricity, this is done at the detriment of other areas of the city. Energy discrimination is a normalcy in North Korea, with many who live in affluent districts enjoying a more stable electricity supply than those living in underserved communities and rural areas. Dwellers in areas such as Yung, Sosong, Moranbong, Pinchon, as well as other such districts receive a meager allocation of five hours of electricity every day. In other areas, the situation is even worse, with many getting just one or two hours of electricity supply per day. According to sources, preferential treatment is given to families who pay for electricity in foreign currencies, and the government prioritizes electricity supply to factories and industries over homes. 
This unsteady supply of electricity is a result of the dilapidated state of the power generating plants due to years of neglect by Kim Jong Wu's government. Number 21, the Pyongyang Metro System. For many years, the metro system in Pyongyang remained closed to the outside world, with very few images of the 360 feet underground tunnels making it out of this ironclad nation. For a nation known for its many secrets and hidden agenda, the mysterious metro system was a subject of huge speculations. However, in recent times, many of us from the outside world have been able to catch a glimpse of this marvelous metro system, regarded as the deepest underground system in the world. But what was the vision for this engineering masterpiece? Beyond the comfort of commuting through Pyongyang, this underground tunnel also functions as a bunker. Because of the ever-present tension between North Korea and many international world powers such as the United States, the possibility of a conflict that could result in a nuclear fallout is a constant concern in the minds of the North Korean government. Learning from the horrors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Kim Second Sung, the grandfather of the current dictator Kim Jong-un, commissioned the construction of this metro system in 1978 as a precautionary measure in the case of a nuclear war. These images of the metro line were captured by French photographer Eric Laforgue during one of his trips to the Hermit Kingdom. Number 20. Food Insecurity North Korea is going through an intense food crisis, but Kim Jong-un doesn't want the world to know. State-controlled media would have the rest of the world believe that the citizens live in abundance, enjoying three square meals and nutritious delicacies. However, most North Koreans barely get by as the country is currently facing one of its worst food crises since the devastating famine of the 90s. A journey to the countryside will reveal the harsh reality of life in the hermit state. Malnourished children walking the streets, barren and low-yielding agricultural fields, heavily priced food materials, and empty markets stand as testament of the decline in food production in the country. Unlike the images of lush green fields propagated by the state media, the harsh reality of the everyday life of North Koreans betrays the picture-perfect image Kim Jong-un sells to the West and the rest of the world. Number 19. Public Executions In 2022, the Korean government publicly executed three teenagers by firing squad. Of the three, two received the capital punishment for the simple crime of watching and distributing South Korean movies and the other one for murdering his stepmother. Although the crime of the latter appears to be more heinous than the former, in North Korea, both are evil in equal proportions. The ruthless murder of these 16-year-olds is a common feature in the Hermit Kingdom, where capital punishment is not only legal, but applicable to petty crimes. These executions are done publicly in order to serve as an example of discipline to the rest of the citizens. Very few reports of these public executions make their way into Western media, owing to the heavy monitoring of news agencies operating in the country. According to reports by the Database Center for North Korean Human Rights, a South Korean-based organization which monitors the human right violations within the sister nation, over 1,000 accounts of public executions were reported as at 2009. Data compiled by Amnesty International also reveals that over 105 public executions took place in North Korea between 2007 and 2012. However, the North Korean government publicly denies the validity of this data, claiming that only 13 executions occurred in the country since 1998, none of which were done publicly. Number 18 religious freedom. Officially, freedom of religion is a basic right acknowledged by the Constitution of North Korea. However, this freedom only exists on paper. In reality, religious persecution is commonplace in this country, even though the government claims to respect the freedom of religious beliefs. Defectors and refugees escaping from the terrors of living in the iron-clad nation come bearing stories of harsh penalties meted out to those caught having contact with missionaries or overseas evangelical groups. These harsh penalties can range from arrests and prolonged imprisonments to outright executions. Christians in North Korea are known to be one of the most persecuted religious groups in the world. This harsh reality has led to the rise in underground churches, where hymns are sung in hushed tones, and attending religious gatherings bear the risk of prison sentences and other penalties. 
These underground churches stand as testament to the resilience of the human spirit and an act of rebellion against the oppressive government. Number 17. The Educational System The educational curriculum of North Korean school is fraught with indoctrination, propagation of non-democratic ideals, and hate campaigns targeted at the West. Right from childhood, North Korean children are taught the act of subjection under the laws and regulations of the dictatorship government and imparted with the basics of socialist pedagogy. This principle of indoctrination ensures that the government maintains an iron grip on its citizens who are taught to obey without question in order to be considered upstanding citizens of the state. Basic educational requirements take the back seat, and propagation of socialist principles from generations to generations is prevalent in schools. For those living in the countryside, education is a dream that might never become reality. Most children of schooling age spend their early years laboring on farms, mines, and factories in order to contribute their required quota to the production capacity of their dear homeland. This forced lab hour takes the place of learning, depriving them of the foundational knowledge they should acquire in their childhood. The North Korean media propagates a deceptive image featuring children learning, socializing, and enjoying the joy of childhood. However, in reality, Education is a luxury unavailable to the poor and lower-class citizens of the Hermit Kingdom. Number 16. Underreported Natural Disasters Because of Kim Jong-un's desire to maintain the image of a perfect nation, natural disasters and other humanitarian issues in the country are kept secret from the outside world. According to reports by an international relief group, North Korea was the sixth most underreported humanitarian crisis in 2019. This isolated nation witnesses myriad natural disasters every year, ranging from floods to droughts, which ultimately affects food supply, leading to food shortages and extreme starvation. Because of these natural disasters, over 40% of the population does not have access to clean water, and many suffer from acute malnutrition. However, Kim Jong-un believes that releasing these images of houses submerged underwater and fields of crops laid barren due to extreme droughts makes his nation look weak. In a bid to maintain a perfect image, everyday citizens of North Korea face intense hardship, which could have been alleviated by international support. Number 15. Hotel of Doom From the outside, the Ryugyong Hotel in Pyongyang stands as a marvelous sight, a spectacle of North Korean architecture. However, on the inside, this 105-story building is nothing but a hollow shell. Famed as the tallest unoccupied building in the world, Ryugyong Hotel is one of the massive edifices used by North Korea to market its perfect picture propaganda. Construction works on this Hotel of Doom started in 1987, but the structure remains unfinished till date. One side of the building is outfitted with LED screens, used for light shows. Empty displays of wealth and prosperity by the visionless government of Kim Jong-un. The pyramid shape of the hotel can be seen dominating the skyline from over a mile away, painting a picture-perfect image of an advanced city. However, the massive infrastructure has now become home to desperate homeless North Koreans, who risk severe penalties as they find shelter in the abandoned building. Number 14. Empty Highways This image showing an empty highway with few cars passing by and children playing on the streets captures the reality Kim Jong-un would love to keep secret from the rest of the world. Due to the heavy restrictions on car ownership, fuel restrictions, and the sad fact that a wide majority of North Koreans cannot afford to buy a car, owning a car in North Korea is a luxury reserved only to the elites. Most photos from inside North Korea always seem to feature empty roads, as opposed to the busy highways, which is a common feature in most developed countries. This is because the vast majority of those living in North Korea cannot even dream of owning a car due to the heavy restrictions and high prices. The rich and the powerful, however, can be seen cruising through the streets in their imported automobiles, while the poor prefer to cycle or walk. Number 13. Life on the Edge of the North Korean Border For those living in the border towns of North Korea, life is never at ease. Owing to the constant tension between the North and the South, heavy military presence is a constant sight in this region. Kim Jong-un, in his usual fashion of painting a fake picture of perfection, 
commissioned the construction of beautifully structured buildings in towns along these borderlines. But as you venture into these seemingly developed areas, the facade begins to fade. Empty streets, eerie quietness, and a constant sense of repression permeates the atmosphere, standing as a stark contrast to the perfectly crafted architecture of the region. In reality, families that live in these towns are carefully selected by the government, forced to maintain a smile in the face of oppression, while staring at an inaccessible free land just on the other side of the fine line that separates the northern part of the Korean peninsula from the south. Number 12. Heavy Military Presence The North Korean government has a reputation for constantly displaying its military might as a way of deterring its rivals from venturing into an armed conflict against its advanced military force. Everywhere you look, there are soldiers clad in uniforms and sometimes even bearing arms. However, the constant presence of the military is not just a bid to show the outside world how powerful the nation is, but also to keep an iron grip on its citizens. Military intimidation is a form of domination employed by Kim Jong-un, who believes in punishment and intimidation as a form of leadership. It is worthy of note that it is illegal to take photographs of a soldier, therefore these images you are looking at were taken at great risk. Number 11. Reports of Human Experimentation Defectors and refugees escaping from North Korea tell tales of horrific experiments carried out on prisoners and citizens deemed too imperfect to be considered members of Kim Jong-un's dream society. Children with physical and mental disabilities, women and several other minority groups are subjected to tests against their will. Over the years, there have been several eyewitness reports about human beings being used as lab rats to test chemical weapons, deadly poisons, and gas chambers. Even though Kim Jong-un's government claims that all prisoners are treated fairly, human rights violation is rampant in North Korean prisons, and many who find themselves in these hell holes, unfortunately, never make it out alive. Those lucky enough to escape the horrors of the Hermit Kingdom tell gory details of deadly experiments resulting in instant death. North Korean scientists often experiment on women and children, as they develop more deadly weapons to add to the nation's arsenal, an endeavor that seems to be the major priority of the supreme leader, as opposed to catering for the well-being of the citizens. Number 10. Banned Missiles In June 2023, Russia's Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu paid a courtesy visit to North Korea, as the nation marked the 70th anniversary of the Korean War armistice. During the visit, President Kim Jong-un displayed an exhibition of military equipment, which included banned nuclear missiles. In a show of defiance to the West, North Korea has continually treaded on the thin line that separates war from peace, as it continues to develop weapons of mass destruction banned by international laws. These massive weapons are developed at the detriment of the citizens, as critical funds that should be directed at building infrastructure that could improve the livelihood of ordinary North Koreans, continue to be poured into the research and development of these weapons. Number 9. The Facade of Perfection Although the tourism industry in North Korea is almost non-existent due to strict travel restrictions and intense political tension between the Hermit Kingdom and many other nations, some journalists and photographers risk life and limb to document the daily lives of ordinary North Koreans. These strictly guided tours tend to focus on the pristine locations and well-polished parts of the country. Guides often frown whenever tourists try to capture images that might depict the nation as flawed or imperfect. Such was the case of this image, taken by a photographer while on a tourist trip to North Korea. While visiting a family, the guide asked the tourist to take pictures of the children using a computer. However, when the guide found out there was no electricity, he firmly asked the tourist to delete the pictures. Tourism in North Korea is a very risky endeavor, and many enthusiasts who venture into this uncharted territory sometimes get wrapped up in the political games played by North Korea against the West. Number 8. The Reality of Internet Censorship in North Korea Many people have questioned whether North Koreans have access to the Internet. Unfortunately, there is no straight way to answer this question. The short answer, however, is yes. Citizens of North Korea have access to the Internet, although it is not the same form of Internet access enjoyed by the rest of the world. 
Because of the intense paranoia that is ever-present in North Korea, owning a computer requires permission from government authorities, and all personal computers have to be registered with the police. Privacy is an illusion in the Hermit Kingdom, as the government closely monitors what its citizens read, watch, and listen to. Although the state media makes it seem as though North Koreans live in freedom, this is only a facade in order to convince the rest of the world that everything is all right. The North Korean internet system is a closed-up network, controlled by the government, and accessing information from the outside world will likely land you in prison or worse. Number 7. The Facade of Self-Reliance Juch, or self-reliance, is the principal ideology of the North Korean state, a principle that has led to its detachment from the rest of the world. However, a trip through the Hermit Kingdom raises the question of whether North Korea is indeed self-sustainable. Due to the biting effects of economic sanctions and the effects of droughts resulting in food shortages, ordinary North Koreans face extreme hardship as they traverse the rig hours of day-to-day -day living. Images of malnourished children and poverty-ridden regions are promptly shut down by the state as the Kim Jong-un government tries to sell a vision of self-sustenance to a nation filled with tired and hungry citizens. Number 6. Mass Surveillance Even though Kim Jong-un seeks to convince the world that his people lead a free, unhindered life, reality paints a different picture. Privacy is a myth in North Korea, where mass surveillance is a routine practice employed in its most invasive form. Surveillance cameras litter every corner and virtually every phone is bugged as the regime closely monitors every citizen in order to maintain order. Every aspect of the citizens of North Korea is closely monitored. In the Hermit Kingdom, your next-door neighbor might be an informant for the government, swiftly reporting any suspicious movements to the authorities as a testament to the extent the government is willing to go in order to monitor the affairs of its citizens. Microphones are now being used outdoors in order to pick up conversations. Now it's time for today's Subscriber's Pick. As an act of artistic defiance, satirical images of the supreme leader of the North Korean state, Kim Jong-un, is often circulated online. These images depict the dictator in various satirical positions and posture, and they stand as a form of artistic rebellion against the oppressive government. As always, feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Number 5. Prohibitions on Foreign Media In North Korea, listening to foreign music or enjoying an American action blockbuster carries the significant risk of arrest, prosecution, and in some cases, an outright death sentence. Possession of literature, music, and movies from South Korea attract special severe punishment, which has led many North Koreans to devise clandestine ways of disseminating these foreign media. News coverage from the outside world is passed through USB sticks, traded in dark corners in order to avoid detection by the authorities. Banned books are smuggled into the country and distributed in dark alleys and underground stores, hidden from the prying eyes of Kim Jong-un's police and informants. People are seeking information about the outside world, and they are willing to go through great lengths in order to access them. The people of North Korea are getting increasingly curious, and as we know, curiosity is the first step in a revolution. Number 4. Social Media Ban in this age of technological innovations, social media has bridged the distance gap that once stood between different countries of the world. Information shared online can easily go viral, and ignorance is no longer excusable. The Kim Jong-un government understands the power of social media and its potential to open the eyes of the everyday North Korean to the realities of the outside world, which stands as a stark contrast they are familiar with. In order to keep people chained, you need to keep them ignorant. This was why the North Korean government announced a ban on social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. This ban is proof that not only are there things in the North Korean government doesn't want you to know, but there are also things they don't want their own citizens to know about the outside world. Number 3. The Black Markets Saving Lives in North Korea in recent times, black markets known as Jang Madang have become a common feature in North Korea as capitalism slowly creeps into the hermit nation. 
Although the economy of North Korea is heavily controlled by the government, these semi-legal black markets stand at the borderline between approval and disapproval. These markets provide simple goods that are hard to come by or too expensive to be afforded by ordinary citizens. Food, clothing, fuel, and other necessities, which were only provided by the government in the past, lost their monopoly due to the inability of the government to meet the needs of its citizens. These black markets help ease the rig hours of surviving everyday life for the average North Korean. Number 2. Empty Marketplaces The economy of North Korea has been experiencing a steady decline for a long time. However, the government refused to acknowledge this obvious fact. Data recorded from satellite images of markets in North Korea reveal the sharp decline in market activity between 2019 and 2021. Trading grounds, which used to feature a bustling crowd exchanging goods and services, have experienced a dramatic decrease. This issue was accentuated by the coronavirus outbreak of 2020, which led to the closure of the North Korean border with China, one of its strongest trade allies, further increasing the struggles of the everyday citizen. Number 1. Silent Defiance Like a phoenix out of the ashes, rebellion is silently creeping into the North Korean state. Ordinary citizens are learning to defy the ideologies imbibed into their mentalities from childhood. They are questioning the validity of the state-sponsored propaganda they've been constantly fed with. North Korean defectors living in China float balloons full of cash over the border as a means of relief for many families facing intense hardship within the hermit nation. Banned television shows and movies are now being viewed under closed doors and blinded windows, and there has been an increased willingness to confront the authorities. More than ever before, the people are rising. They are speaking out against injustice, and they are being heard. Many of these rebels end up in prison, or in worse situations, but their voices never die. They inspire a new generation who will not keep quiet, who will rise and seek a democratic system that puts the people first. Whether this will be a possibility in our lifetime remains unknown, but one thing is sure, the embers have been fanned and the fire will burn. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.